They were the shots seen round the world. Yeah! Pictures that made us say, is that real? In 2009, a mother in Australia watched helplessly as a stroller carrying her six-month-old son rolled in front of a train. In Boston, a drunk fell onto the subway tracks. And a woman got her handbag stuck in the subway door. Everyone was okay. And speaking of being okay, it was called the Miracle on the Hudson. A pilot named Sully became a national hero as he belly flopped his commercial jetliner into the frigid river. All 155 people on board lived to tell the tale. Those stories were no joke, but this one was a hoax, full of hot air. America fretted. Fearful, a six-year-old boy was inside this balloon as it floated across the Colorado sky. He wasn't there, and his parents pleaded guilty to charges of making it all up. The year was full of police chases, and this was the money shot, literally. Cash cascading from a suspected drug runner's truck. I saw that it was like $100 bills just flying from the sky. And there were kids in cars. Check out the seven-year-old in Utah who drove home. He stole his dad's vehicle to skip church. In the end, he probably was praying he'd be spared his father's wrath. This Philadelphia baseball dad caught a foul ball. His three-year-old daughter quickly threw it back. All he could do was hug her. Nothing like a father's love. And this proposal of love made Misty a little misty, as Dennis popped the question from an Indiana field. One, two, three, four. And just before the I do's, this Minnesota groom and bride boogied down the aisle. Oh, Proof once again politics is a contact sport. Italy's prime minister was bloodied after a protester smashed a statuette into his face. Remember the Iraqi who threw a shoe at President Bush? Well, this year he got a little soul himself as someone tried to put a foot in his mouth. And there was no decorum at a Dallas commissioner's meeting. You're the I'm an ass gonna crush him. Maybe they could have learned a lesson of peace from these three. Yep, that's a mouse sitting on a cat, sitting on a dog. This deer wasn't caught in the headlights, but better yet, the Christmas lights. <sighs> Finally, not to sound cheesy, but check out this five and a half foot tall Santa carved out of nearly a ton of Wisconsin cheddar. It's Saint Nick's way of saying be good for good as sake. Drew Levinson, CBS News, New York.